Look at this sexy mofo. What model is this again? I forget. Uh, it's 2021 Turbo S. Turbo Limited S. Edition. Limited edition. What do they call this one? Uh, lifted Lime Green. Lifted Lime Green. She is sexy. That is some sweet looking colors on there. Of course, it's not clean, but why I guess that's what have, I get. Why would we have a clean machine? Right. That's what I get for not being uh, around when he first got it. So my own deal but he just came from uh, uh, YXZ a non-turbo YXZ that we called Red Tomato that was a bad unit too but uh, I think he's gonna love this one a lot more he goes to a dunes a lot so I'm sure he's got a little, some upgrades to come but uh, we're gonna try out the backyard track here a little bit and see how it all goes peace out He's walking over to his machine. He's gonna change these jumps a little bit. Were they too steep, Zach? Oh, they were sketchy. <laughs> they look a little peaked. They're uh, ready to shoot you to the moon. <laughs> I got here a little too late. I didn't get to see it happening. Okay, kiddos what we have here is a pretty decent sized double it was kind of meant to just be like a, a step on tabletop type thing and then kind of jump down to the back side of it but like I said after seeing it we're gonna try and send this whole thing I don't know it's probably 60 70 feet probably and then there's another double after it or whatever but um, for those of you wondering, a lot of, got a lot of questions asking on how to build jumps and how my machine flies so flat. 
they don't have much of an arch to it so you, you got to put a lot of dirt down in the beginning of it so you don't have a big ramp up if you do that's where you get your buck from and you always want to have acceleration powering like especially right here because right about here your suspension is going to start bottoming out you want it to fully extend back out before you hit off the end of the jump if you do not that's where the big buck comes from and also like I said you want to be under power when you're doing it or you will end up with a you know a nose nose heavy jump so um, might send Zach over the jump a couple times just to illustrate exactly what I'm talking about so we'll get into that all right we got Zach in his brand new bone stock turbo s Zero clicks on the suspension. I want him to come over it. I told him to see what's going to happen. Right? Well, he might have had a little, hit it a little harder than that. Give her a little more beans than that. Give her the beans. And them stock machines sound so nice. I might have this section here a little bit too tight. Now maybe I'll get on my machine. Oh, we'll let him do it. What are you fucking for? <laughs> Trying not to get in the video. <laughs> you don't want nobody to see you? No. Ooh. That's me they don't want to see. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. See what he does. Woo! See that? He landed a little bit nose heavy. He didn't have it. He was throttled on it a little bit too late. And he didn't have a good run to pull himself up the jump. But uh, what do you think? I think you can land on top of that pretty easily with this machine. I think if I put it in four wheel drive, so I'm not spending so much out of that car. Let's try that. Four wheel drive. See what happens. See if it changes it up. Here we go. See what he gets into now. I think he can get it no problem. Yep, yep, yep. Hit it, hit it. Man, them things land so nice, no matter what you do with them. I know I'm going to be landing rough in the old clapped out unit. I guess I should probably get in it and see how it actually goes out. Pass her off. It's rough? I said pass her off. Pass her off. Did you rattle your teeth out? Took it like a champ, didn't it? Dynamics, dude. <laughs> Dynamics. Dynamics, they say. I don't know. All right, I guess I'll get in and see what uh, see what we can get into. No, 
Zachary. needs work. It's way too close to that corner oh. to me to get any kind of... Are you taking that uh, corner cut either? Uh, the first time I tried taking it as wide as I could and there's still nothing. Even when I went backwards with it, it's like I'm still not getting enough oak. You landed right perfectly on top. That new section over there, though, with the the big berm and that double. Gapetizer. Gapetizer. There you go. Gapetizer. Yeah. I like that name. Uh huh. Uh, I guess that one would be the gapetizer, and that'd be the gap onion. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably couldn't see it on the video. Like my haircut. Oh, yeah, that's super sweet. The big tabletop got turned into a camelback so that you can do sh go short, land up on top, or chuck the whole thing. It's hard driving hard out here when there's nobody chasing you really hard. <laughs> like when Nick Seuss was chasing me, I felt like I had it going good, but it's hard to get in a rhythm when there's nobody here to push you that hard. And I know Zach doesn't want to go quite as hard as I'm willing to. <sighs> yeah, no, we ain't got you know, cage or nothing like that. So. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this spot here. It was meant to just be uh, like just a, a nice little checkup. Well, yeah, a checkup jump, basically. And then into the straightaway here. I don't want to come flying by you guys to see how fast you can actually get going here, but you'd be in a dust storm. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely need something like that, man. You definitely bury uh, case hard a couple times. Right. Yeah. And as you can see, I still don't have my skid plates on. Why not? Because it's cool to not have them, I guess. <laughs> Here's some clay packed up in the rear ends. Oh, yeah. 
right. That's what that's good. Right are in for. there. Well, I think after seeing what I got here, I made it too much like a motocross track. She needs to be tamed down again. I don't know what I want to do with this jump. Maybe drop some comments below. See what I should do with this one here. This gap jump. Because I really don't have... I mean, we got train tracks right here. So when we come flying down the straightaway, that's... I mean, that's our corner, right? I mean, can't do much different. So if I just made this... Maybe just a short tabletop. Yeah. Yeah, just bring it way in, or I don't know. Like I said, maybe drop some comments below. See what you guys want to come up with. I wanted to put a whoop section in, but this is what it turned into. I had the dirt piled here for the whoop section, and I don't know. I just kind of went crazy on this. Kind of like that haircut. Kind of like my haircut. I'm loving it. We need to get. We'll get her dialed in. Another haircut. It'll be all right. He let his daughter cut his hair. Perfect. It looks good. I like how that double flows into the rest of the track, though. So you do that double, then you turn and fly out onto the, that track. And them corners over there, I, that, them jumps are all nice. That berm's nice. Yeah, the berm, the berm, I spread the berm way out. I added, like, probably 15, 20 feet to the whole thing width-wise, so... It needs to be worked in a little bit better. This clay out here is, well, I mean, you can see it. When you work it up, it's rock hard. Or then when it dries out, it just turns into little Crumble. bricks. <sighs> well, what do you think? Going to do some drag racing? Probably get my ass kicked by a bone stock Polaris. I don't know if I'm liking that. You really think? This thing's fast. All right, let's see what I can do. All right. What are we doing? Well, I think we got him licked. Thought that was going to be a little bit faster. She must be pulling pretty good. Still got way more suspension though, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, how do you think that turned out? <laughs> She's making something. I thought I thought that would be a little bit closer on the on the on the pole race. But I just walked away by it. You know what that means? Tune time. Tune time. What do you want to go with? Evo? I don't know. I've been looking at both of them. Aftermarket assassins. Aftermarket assassins, yeah. I don't know if Neil has got anything for players or not. We will have to look into all three of them. But I'm sure you're just going to want to drive it nice this summer. Just be easy on it. Since we can't race that Silver Lake anymore. This is a family I, I, sorry, mobile. Sorry, not race. It's uh, test and, test and tune. tune. No drag racing. Tune. We'll see how it goes. Definitely got a weird spot, like right at mid-range when I'm hitting the gas. It literally falls around its face, so I gotta look into what I got going on there. If 
thought I had the tune pretty much figured out, but she definitely does not like that spot. Like just creeping, and then you go, and then you go flat land it. It just the map must go into a spot where I must not have some good numbers. So I'll look at that. Bad thing about FT ECU programming, I don't have any data reading capabilities. EM dash or I really don't want to go more tech. The Mtron, I heard that's pretty good stuff. Maybe Mtron. I got a buddy that's hooked up with that, so maybe we'll go that route. Okay. Alright, I think that's it for clapped out over there for today. I think we're gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. Sun's about going down. We got a lot chilly. of work to do. As you can see, we got buildings going up here. Hopefully that'll be a lot more done. The new neighbors will love the drag sharper right next to it. I'm sure they will. Of course. There'll be a ditch here, so it's a good separator. <laughs> there's a noise barrier. Yeah, well there's yeah. noise barrier. There'll be a ditch we and a berm. This mound. We'll have it all good. Yes. Alright. Until okay, next guys. time. Until next time. Thanks for uh, watching. If you like it, hit some, some, some uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, what else we got? Likes, like. comments. I like comments. So, like I said, back there on the track. Um, as you can see, we got pretty nice equipment to make whatever we want, and I got a lot of dirt here. There'll be a lot more when we get the driveways cut in here. So, let's see what we can't make here. Make it as good as we can. All right. Peace out. Stock tires quick. We've got this mire. This machine has 100 miles on it, 129 miles on it, and these coyotes literally are already rolled back, already rounded off, pretty damn good. I mean, you got some edge on the outside, but you can actually see the wear here. Them are literally rolled right over. And my machine has all winter of ice racing, a bunch of laps on the track and whatnot and I still got sharp edges these uh, ITP Terra hooks definitely where it's at let's check the rears out I did some burnouts on the road so yeah you're gonna have a little bit of roll but um definitely a big difference in tires so for all you wondering about the ITP Terra hooks they work so much better than the coyotes in our opinion I mean, he's already wanting to switch, so. Just a little short, short jaunt. <laughs>